Today's episode is about the human posture monitoring using a flick sensor or bend sensor with Arduino. Before you watch this tutorial, first I recommend you should watch my previous tutorial on flick sensor or bend sensor getting started. This tutorial completely explains all the basics related with a flick sensor. The link is given in the description. As this is my first tutorial on human posture monitoring, so I'm gonna call this version 1. While in version 2 of human posture monitoring, I will make use of wireless communication to send the posture data to the computer application where it can be displayed on chart for post analysis. Let's get started. Let's start with a question. What is posture? Posture is not a position but a dynamic pattern of reflexes, habits and adoptive responses to anything that resists you being more or less upright and functional. Forward head and flayed back is a poor posture. Forward head, sway back and rounded shoulders is of course a poor posture. A poor posture soon results in sciatica problem. Sciatica is a term that describes symptoms of pain, numbness and weakness that radiate along the sciatic nerve from the lower back to the buttocks and leg. Most commonly sciatica is caused by a disc problem such as a herniated disc that is pressing against a nerve root. The components that we will need for this project are number one flex sensor, number two five volt buzzer, number three ten k resistor, number four jumper wires and finally number five Arduino. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. The flex sensor connection with Arduino is exactly the same as explained in my previous tutorial. As you can see, a 10K resistor is connected in series with a flex sensor. A 5 volt from Arduino is connected with the flex sensor and a ground is connected with the 10K resistor. This flex sensor and 10K resistor makes a voltage divider. A wire from the metal is connected with the analog pin A0 of the Arduino. The buzzer's S pin is connected with pin number 5 of the Arduino which is the PWM pin and the minus pin is connected with the ground. This is the final circuit. I skipped the soldering part as I covered this in my previous tutorial. This is the same flick sensor but this time I soldered longer wires and I used a sticky tape to fix this flick sensor on the t-shirt. As you can see I have also connected a radio frequency RF transmitter module. I will explain this in version 2. In version 1 of human posture monitoring, we will be using only the flex sensor and a buzzer. The whole circuit can be powered up using a 9 volt battery, but I will be using a 12 volt adapter for the testing. Integer flex is equal to A0. Flex sensor is connected with pin A0 of the Arduino. Integer flex data is equal to 0. Integer buzzer is equal to 5. A buzzer is connected with pin 5 of Arduino, which is the PWM pin. As you know, my friends, every Arduino and Mega program has at least two functions, which are the wide setup and wide loop functions. Wide means that this function is not returning any value, and the empty parentheses means that this function is not taking any arguments as the input. Serial.begin 9600 activates the serial communication at the baud rate of 9600. This is the communication speed in bits per second. This will be used for the debugging purposes. Pin mode is a function and it takes two arguments as the input, the pin number or pin name and the status which can be input or output. As this is a sensor, so that's why I set it to the input and the buzzer is set to the output. Then starts a wide loop function. Flex data is equal to analog read flex. This instruction simply reads the analog pin A0 and store the value in a variable flex data. These instructions are used to send the flex sensor values to the serial monitor for a good posture. The value of the flex sensor is greater than 220, which I will tell you during the testing how to find this value. While for a bad or poor posture, Value is dropped below 220, so these two conditions are used to check whether you are in a good posture or bad posture. So if the value is less than 220, it means poor posture. 
so the buzzer will turn on to control this buzzer we use analog write function if the value is greater than 220 it means good posture so that's why the buzzer is turned off and then there is a delay of 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second so that's it I have already uploaded this program and let me show you how to select these values open serial monitor as you can see when the sensor is played the value is greater than 220 and when I bend the sensor the value decreases below 220 so that's how I selected these values and further confirmed these values by wearing this t-shirt let me wear this t-shirt and watch this project in action This way we can easily monitor the posture this project can be further modified by adding one or two more flex sensors. In version 2 I will make it wireless so that the posture can be monitored on computer or laptop screen. Make sure you subscribe right now so that you never miss any of my upcoming tutorials. I hope you liked today's episode, like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and... Thanks for watching.